Good afternoon from Fort Worth, Texas. I'm Joshua Vincent. Sunday night game brought us the Chicago Bears versus the Dallas Cowboys. Prior to the game, there was some speculation as to who would get the start for Chicago. In addition to that, head coach John Fox wasn't being transparent about the extent of Jay Cutler injury, but left the idea that Cutler might play. In the end, Cutler was listed as an active and Brian Hoyer got the start. This game started off ugly for Chicago. And even though there were moments where it looked like the Bears could get back in it, the Bears were defeated by another rookie quarterback for the second week in a row. There are two main storylines from Sunday's night game. The first is the story of Dak Prescott. As you know by now, Prescott is a fourth round pick from Mississippi State, and he solidified himself in the preseason. Also, he's proven himself thus far in the regular season. Prescott finished the game 19 for 24 for 248 yards, but also includes his rushing touchdown. And Prescott finally threw a passing touchdown to who else? Des Bryant. Yes, they were throwing up the X all across AT&T Stadium. However, one thing that is glaring from the stat sheet is the fact that Prescott has yet to throw an interception or turn a ball over. Head coach Jason Garrett spoke about that, about Prescott's ability to make good decisions on the field and mentioned the preparedness of Prescott. Well, uh, it's challenging to, to, uh, do, to be a great decision maker and take care of the ball at the quarterback position for, for any quarterback every week in the NFL. Uh, the number of different fronts and coverage you to see, the different pressures, and he's just done a really good job uh, understanding what we want to do against the defenses he sees, and he throws the ball to the right guy. And, uh, you know, he does a good job not forcing the ball when it's not there. He gets through his progression, doesn't predetermine things, and then, then ultimately he can get away from trouble because he's a really good athlete and, and, and he can use his legs. He did that a couple times again tonight. So, again, it goes back to his poise and composure, the maturity that he's playing with, doing an outstanding job for him. Shortly after, Dak Prescott also stopped to the podium and spoke about why he's not really in awe about his performance, and he told us what else that he needed to improve on. Like I've said over and over, I mean, I expect to be here. Uh, I have high expectations for myself. I only want to get better and better. Um, I'm gonna just keep working hard each and every day, staying focused and living the moment. Uh, I'm young. I mean, I'm three games into the National Football League. There's a lot uh, that I can learn from. There's a lot that I have I haven't seen. Uh, so I'm just gonna continue to just head down and keep working. The, the second storyline is what direction the Chicago Bears are going in. Here are a few facts that you may not know. The Bears have not had a winning record since 2012 after the firing of head coach Lovey Smith. In addition to that, the Bears have only won three home games since November of 2014. Add being 0-3 right now this season, and the injury list has continued to grow long for Chicago. That begs the question exactly what is going on with this Bears team. Not to mention the fact that we still don't know exactly how long will Jay Cutler be out with this thumb injury. Will this be a quick fix or will he be out for quite some time? It's still yet to be seen. One thing is for sure, the Bears will go back home and play against the Detroit Lions in Chicago. That's the game that the Bears should win, considering that they're playing a team that's in complete rebuild right now. But again, there are no guarantees with the Chicago Bears. Also, on one last quick note, Dak Prescott and company will go off to San Francisco and place the 49ers this coming Sunday. As for now, reporting live in Fort Worth, Texas at TCU University. Back to you guys in Washington, D.C. for Fox Sports 1340 AM.